Hi family, welcome back. Um, today we'll be making DIY wool art using wine corks. This I got from Crot Constantia. I went there for wine tasting the other day and I asked them uh, for this and they gave me quite a lot. So I decided what could I make out of this? So I made, I decided to make a wall mirror or wall art thingy. What I did was I boiled them first to make them a little bit easier to cut in half. I will put up the, the clip on the next um, section slide. Yeah. So this is what I did. This is how they look like. Sorry, when they're cut in half. Um, so yeah, I did that. I cut them in half. And then what I then did off camera, I'll just show you guys one so that I can just show you how I did this. Ooh, guys. Ah. Okay, let me show you how I got them to get. So all of them, I put them in twos like this. them in twos like that like so so it's easy joining them like this is easy i'll be using gorilla clear grip i got that from boulder's wheelhouse. house so you take the one half you put it down and then another half down you glue just right by the end of the like so and then you take the one and you put it on like so you leave it to dry that's what i did for all the ones that i joined and this are individual pieces that i've got yeah that i'm also going to use on this so uh, today i wanted to do it a bit differently i want to talk through what i am doing but i'm also going to kind of give you guys a bit of info about myself um i did see that some of you were complaining that i don't speak about myself that you don't even know my name so my name is Buabo. Uh, I was born and raised in Limpopo in Toyando and I started a DIY channel simply because I love DIY and I've been doing that um, for friends and family and I decided let me show let me showcase what I do what I'm passionate about let me kind of show people how to do those things and not to necessarily buy everything from a shop so what I forgot to show you guys was, sorry, let me just get this down. What I forgot to show you guys was this is a, a clock that doesn't work anymore. It was broken, so I decided I can't throw it away. I needed to reuse this. So this is a wooden um, plank, it's a clock. And I just used the back side of it. And then take my mirror. So this mirror I got from, there was a little mirror at Pep Home that they were selling for $16.99 that I got a while back and this came from that. I'm not quite sure if they still have it, but you can go check it out. And there we go. So it's going to take a while to see what this glue does. My goodness. Gonna take a while to set here. Let me just add more glue. I should actually be using a glue gun as well. So if you add if you use gorilla glue and a glue gun, it sticks on more than it does if it's just glue. So yeah, guys. There we go. This will stick on quite nicely. It just needs time to hold. So now we'll just be using this ones that I have joined together now. With this one. Okay, so where was I? Um, my age. I'm sure most of you want to know how old I am. A woman never reveals her age. But for you guys, I'm going to tell you. 
I'm 28, I'm 28 years old. I'm turning 29 next year, Feb. So quite soon. And yeah, that's, I think that's basically everything that I kind of got from my Instagram followers. I kind of had a feel that they, they were, they wanted to know more about me. Um, if you guys have any questions that I haven't answered that you want to know um, more about, just Drop it in the comment section down below and let me know what you'd like to know. So yeah, let's continue. So now what I'm doing is I'm just putting on the glue. As you can see, like so, you put on the glue like that. And I'm just sticking on the, the ones I had joined together. So this glue, guys, it takes a while to hold. So you would have to put things in place for a little while before it actually sticks. So this won't be... I won't be lifting this today. I'll probably lift it only tomorrow because that's when the glue will be set. So you just do that in repetition. I'm just going to fast forward through this because it's just a repetition of putting the those two together and then putting them on the wooden thing. So I think I'm done closing the gaps now. What I did was I just pasted the corks as I went along. What you can do is if you want like a direct, um, like a clear shape I mean, then you have to literally put it on first before you actually glue them on so that you get um, the kind of look that you're looking for. But this is what I did. I can't necessarily lift it right now because the glue is still wet, it hasn't dried yet. I ended up having to use this glue as well because from Builders Warehouse because I ran out of glue. Um, but yeah, you place them on the way you want to. Thank you so much to Krot Constantia for the wine corks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment or subscribe to this channel and watch for much more DIY projects. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.